Identify Related Facts, Fact Families. Lesson 5.3. We know addition or subtraction facts are related if they use the same numbers in a different order. Related facts are a set of related addition and subtraction number sentences. Here we've got 9 plus 3 is equal to 12, and we know we can add in any order, so 3 plus 9 is also equal to 12. The sum of the addition sentences is the minuend of the subtraction sentences of the related facts. They use the same three numbers, a 3, a 9, and a 12. 3, 9, 12, 3, 9, 12, 3, 9, 12. It's the same three numbers in a different order. Related facts make a fact family. The 3, 9, and 12 make a fact family of related facts. And fact families have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. If we know one fact, we will know the other fact. Here we have eight blue gems and five pink gems. We can add these together. We'll count on from the larger number eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eight plus five is equal to thirteen. And we can use these three numbers, the 8, the 5, and the 13, to help us with the other fact. We have the 8 and the 5. The one that's missing is the 13. We didn't have to use the counters or our fingers to find the answer for the number that went here. We just looked for the missing number for the related fact. What about here? 6 plus 8 is equal to what number? Do you see the three numbers that we would have to use? We have a 6, an 8, and I see a 14. That means 14 must go here. Let's do 6 plus 8 to be sure. We'll start with the larger number 8 and we'll count on 6. 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. That means 14 minus 8 must be a related fact, and the number that's missing that goes here, do you know what the missing number is? If you said 6, you're correct. The three numbers for these related number sentences are 6, 8 and 14. 6, 8 and 14. What about this one? 7 plus 5 is equal to some amount. What three numbers do you think they're using for these related facts? 5, 7, and 12. So what number is missing from this number sentence? We've got the 5, we've got the 7, do you know what must go here? It must be the 12. Those are the three numbers for the related fact. Let's check to make sure. We'll start with the larger number first, the larger add in 7, and we'll count on 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, it is 12. That means that 12 minus 5 is equal to... Do you see the number that's missing for our three numbers? If you said 7, you're correct. We use a 5, a 7, and a 12. A 5, a 7, and a 12. We can make fact families. We can use these numbers to write related addition and subtraction sentences. We can pick any ones we want as long as our number sentences are correct and true. You could pick any ones you want. I'm going to pick the 5 and the 6 and the 11. 5, 6, 
and 11. We know that fact families have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. So we know that this is going to be an addition sentence, and so is this one. This one will be a subtraction, and this one will be a subtraction. We also know that these will be equal signs, won't they? We can add in any order, so we can switch places with the 6 and the 5, and it will still equal 11, won't it? So now we have our two addition sentences. We need to write our two subtraction sentences. And do you remember? The sum of the addition sentence becomes the minuend for the subtraction sentence. So this sum, 11, is going to become the minuend for our subtraction sentences. And we also know that these numbers will go here and they can trade places for the second subtraction sentence. So we could put 5 here and 6 here and we know that they can trade places and go 6 and 5. Now we have the related facts 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 and 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 and we have 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 and 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. Let's do it again. Let's pick some other numbers from here. You can have paper and a pencil and do your own. We can do any of these numbers, couldn't we? We could do 2 and 4 and 6. If we have a 2 here and a 4 here, we know that we have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. 2 plus 4, we start with the larger add in 4 and count up 2, 4, 5, 6. So we do have a 2, a 4, and a 6. We know an equal sign goes in all of these, don't they? So those will be our three numbers, 2, 4, and 6. We know we can add in any order, so the 4 can go here and the 2 can go here, so we have our other addition sentence. We also know that the sum of the addition sentence becomes the minuend for the subtraction sentences. So we know the 6 is going to go here. And we also know we need to use the 2 and the 4. So we can put a 2 here and a 4 here, and that they can trade places for the other subtraction sentence, 4, 2. Now we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, that's true, and 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, that's also true, and we have 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, and 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. We made related facts, we made a fact family. We have two addition and two subtraction sentences, and they use the same three numbers. Now look at the facts here. Are these related facts? 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, and 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. Are they related facts? What is the rule? The rule says they use the same numbers but in a different order. Are they using the same numbers in a different order? Yes, they have 4, 7, and 11. So these are related facts, yes. How about these numbers? Are these related facts? Are they using the same three numbers? We have 8 plus 6 is equal to 14, and we have 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. Are they using the same three numbers like this one did? No. It's got a 6, a 9, and a 5. Those are different numbers. So this is no. These are not related facts. How about these? Are these related facts? 17 minus 9, 8, sorry, 17 minus 8 is equal to 9, and 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. Are these related facts? Are they using the same numbers in a different order? We have an 8, a 9, and a 17. We have an 8, a 9, and a 17. 
Yes, they're using the same numbers in a different order. So these are related facts. So remember, related facts, they use the same numbers in a different order. And the fact families have two addition and two subtraction sentences, don't they? We can add and subtract and then circle the pairs that are related facts. 4 plus 8 is equal to, let's start with the 8 and count on the 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. Do you think this is a related fact? 12 minus 8 is equal to, yes, it's 4. If they have the 8 and the 12 that's the same, then the 4 must be the same. Is it a related fact? Yes, it is. They use the same three numbers in different order. How about this one? 9 plus 3 is equal to, let's start at the larger add in 9 and count on 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. Hmm. 6 plus 3 is 6, 7, 8, 9. Are they using the same three numbers in different order? I see a 3, a 6, a 9, and a 12. That's four numbers. So those aren't related facts, are they? No. How about here? 9 plus 7 is equal to some number. We can use counters to help us. We can get 9 counters. 1, 2, 3... Let's move them up here. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we need seven more counters, don't we? So let's get seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have nine counters here and seven counters here. That means we have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 in all. This one says 16 minus seven is equal to I see the 7 and the 16 and the 9. I see the 7, the 16. That must be 9. So are these related facts? Yes, they use the same three numbers in a different order. So we'll circle it. How about this one? 6 plus 6 is equal to... We can start with 6 and count on 6. 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. And 12 plus 6, we can start at the 12, the larger add-in, and count on 6 because it's addition. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 12 plus 6 is 18. Are these related facts? Are they using the same three numbers? Well, be careful, because we added doubles here. So we have a 6, a 6, and a 12. These are not related facts. If this was a related fact, there would be a 6 here, and that would be a minus. So that's not a related fact. How about here? 9 plus 2 is equal to, we can start with the 9, the larger add in and count on 2, 9 10, 11. 11 minus 2 is equal to... Do you know? If you said 9, you're correct. And this is a related fact. It's using the same three numbers in different order. Let's try one last one. We have 8 plus 5 is equal to some amount. 
We'll start with the 8 and count on 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So we have a 5, an 8, and a 13. Here we have a 13 plus 5. We start with the 13 and it's addition, so we're going to count on 5. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Are these related facts? Are they using the same three numbers in a different order? No. There's four numbers here. We have a 5, an 8, a 13, and an 18. So these are not related facts. So remember to be careful when you see they're adding doubles. For this to be a related fact, it would say 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, and 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. See? Because this is an addition sentence and the sum is 18, it makes it so it's not a related fact. If we have doubles as add-ends, then we need to have the same number for the subtrahend and for the difference. See? Then it would be a related fact. So this would be a related fact. We could circle this one, couldn't we? Our next lesson is going to be how to use addition to check subtraction problems and answers. That's lesson 5.4. So now you know how to identify related facts and fact families. They use the same numbers in different order. And fact families have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. And they can help us solve an other fact because they'll use the same numbers, won't they? I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.